safe practices in drama. When planning lessons, consider hazards including people seated and moving in the space, fixed and mobile furnishings and appliances, resources, set and props, electric cords, flooring and school bags. When planning and implementing drama lessons, consider whether students require a physical and or a vocal warm up and cool down. In drama, we often use a warm-up activity to set the students up for the learning that's going to occur, and that might mean framing the context or getting their bodies and voices ready for the work. For example, in the Magical Museum activity, it places the students in a situation where they're thinking about departures, arrivals, and the types of people and emotions associated with that. We're going to play a game or do an activity called Magical Museum. So when we are thinking about how we're going to be standing or waiting at the airport, we need to think about our body, so right from the top of our head through to our toes. Think about all of the different factors, our posture, our hands, what we're doing. But as we said, think about your face too, because there will be some emotions involved. One of you said that perhaps you're saying goodbye to someone. So in a moment, we're all going to stand and find our place in the space and be frozen in an image like a photograph of somebody who's at the airport, just an individual one. Sonali is going to play a traveller. We're going to give her a suitcase and she's going to be walking from the entrance to the airport to the other side. As she walks past you and when she's not looking, you're able to move or morph into a different position, but you cannot be seen moving by her. Sonali, what do you think happens if you see them moving? They are out. Good, think of lots of different positions. Try using levels even. Think about the size of your freeze frame. Thinking about the size and shape of your actions. While a warm up may help students transition into the lesson, at the end of the class, consider a quiet responding activity. I'm going to give you this planning sheet so that when we come back to this activity, you've got all of that important information recorded. And then we're going to collect all of these. So on the planning sheet, you're going to be able to write your roles. So it might be the young girl, you would like, might like to give them names. Your relationship is best friends. The situation is that you're going away on a ballet trip together. The place would be you're at the airport just before departure and the time, so it is just before departure, that relates to time as well and maybe it's early in the morning.